Hello people, this is Brett from Everywave, and today, as you can see, we're going to take a look at the Nasdaq. Now, before we get started, um, I actually don't really have much to say. Um, if you want to join the Discord, it's absolutely free. Uh, only thing is, you might incur in scammers that are pretending to be me. I will never write you about trading opportunities, blah, 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 blah. Um, so yeah, be aware of that. Um, I will try to find a solution. Uh, that being said, um, we can go straight into the count. As you can see, we're turning off the a four hour chart. Um, it doesn't show the, so basically I have a wave four. There you go. You can see it here, a wave four in place, um, that on my count is alternating with, I mean, it's pairing with this wave two. Now, can I be right? Yes. Am I right? I have no clue. Uh, will I be right? Uh, we can only hope, but hope will F you up in this business. So what I can say is this appears to be the largest correction ever since 07 08. That's all I can say. Uh, can we do this? Uh, yeah, it's still possible. Will we do it? I don't know. Highly unlikely. Uh, all I know now is uh, 20,000 act as the resistance that we forecasted months ago. And uh, as long as we trade below it, let me show you. As long as we trade below 20, um, yes, you can look for further upside long term, but you got to be careful. You got to be mindful. Once we start trading above 20, so let me zoom in. Once we start doing something like this, let's say we do this. So at that point, we can look for further upside targets on the long term. Until then, um, you got to be mindful. We can we could go all the way back to 15,000. And that's what we're trying to um, take a look at today. Now, yesterday, the market moved down, what, 3% in the NASDAQ? Yeah. Right now, it's down almost a half a percentage point. And the pre-market, uh, the U.S. market opens in about three hours as of time of recording. And... Um, all right, let me delete this. Okay, so as you can see here, the cover that I had is basically suggesting we are in wave five, cycle five, and we are we are trying to complete this wave two, two of five. Now, let's do this. Now, you may ask, you may wonder and ask me, Barrett, why the hell this is so short? And I will say, yes, it's not the longest, but it's not uh, that short. Remember, we're talking about the NASDAQ. Now you may ask, Barrett, can we do this? And I'll say, yes, we can. Will we? I have no clue. However, there's a few things we're going to take a look at in the intraday and that will help us to try and understand what we could expect next. Now, I think I also had different scenarios for the short term. Um, okay, not that one. God, I always need to find. Where is all of that? Okay, four in place. Let's call it here. And then this goes here. Sorry about that. Holy smoke. Where is all of this? It is all I just messed up. Oh, God. I didn't. Okay, conservative. What the? Oh God, this is worse than I thought. Sorry, guys. Nope. Four in place. Yeah, I think I need to rename a few things. That's what happens when you do a live now. Oh, that's better. Oh, well, oh, okay. That's why, because I should have called it. I should have. Should have, could have, would. Okay, so let's do this. Let's call this a primary one done. Okay, so we do this and then we call this. So let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Um, let's try this. So let's do intermediate. And uh, to be fair, there's one thing I want to say. We could also be, everything could be moved one degree higher. What does that mean? Well, that means, that would mean that um, um, this is primary, 
Hence, we are near a major top into cycle 5. So this way 5, that is here. Is that possible? Yes. Uh, however, one thing I learned with the markets, many times you're more right than wrong when you're being super bullish than bearish. So as of right now, I stick to, you know, more upside to come in the following years. Could I be right? Yes. Can I be wrong? Yes. Uh, same story, blah, 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 blah. Now, let's create a folder. Now let's analyze this count. So in this count, as you can see, it means that we are, we, we could be doing one more high. Pull back, I, upside. Now, if we want to count it, then the only problem that you think it's pretty clear is the fact that here, you may argue this looks more like a three wave move than a five wave move. And to that, I say, you could be right. So, at this point, um, so you could argue that, as I was saying, you could count one, two, one, two, five, three, four, five, even here. It's possible. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Doable. So let's call it four in the making and that opens up to the uh, let's say let's call them the short-term scenarios why well at this point knowing that this is possible and this is possible right uh you may wonder well better which one is going to be now my honest answer is if i knew i wouldn't be here as I always say in my videos i understand that it can oh god i understand that it can get pretty um uh, you feel like I'm uh, messing with you, but I'm telling the truth. Now, for the sake of it, okay. Now, let's also count this. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. Let's see, if only trading view would f manage to work on these degrees, on this waves not moving, would be highly appreciated. Now, at this point, if I show you what I had before, I mean, my, my main count was this, you know, uh, the wave two here, see, see how they move. Annoying. So annoying. So ABC into, see, oh God, ABC, one, two, three, four, five. Now this way four is going deeper than expected. If we measure it compared to wave two, 1.618. Now at this point, what I would like to see is, Today, we do this. So by today, I mean this week. So from, from day onwards, we just resume higher and make that way five. Um, that's the only way I can see that happening. If not, then we could easily switch to the alternate, meaning that we've had wave A, B, C. Now it's also possible we are in a um, triangle in wave four, right? Because we are, if we are expanding wave four, it could be a triangle. So ABC, let me show you. ABC. Right? ABC. And then wave C as A, B, C, and then you have wave D and E. Boom, boom, to the moon. So that's possible. Um, all I can say is, if we investigate on this, so if we play a game and say, can we count five ways down? So, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So, could you count? Wait, could you count it as a leading diagonal? Okay, so three would be shorter than one. 
and what else? Okay, and M5 will be shorter than 3. So I guess you could count it as a leading diagonal. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, if with all, yeah, with all honesty, it looks like it could, could be that. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, that looks like a third, though, third to be honest. This one, right? Look at look at the, the, the angle of descent. Pretty steep. So that could be a third of a third. Is that gonna mm. so this is a good possibility. Um now as you can count through here down, it can be I mean it's a flat, so it could also be a, a, a random flat, so it would stop before the low wave A. That's possible. I don't know. So you, with correction, you never know which one you're gonna get. So we are expecting flat, but we don't know which one. Uh, just like it could be could turn out to be a triangle. Just like this could have been a maybe even B, because you could count it as some sort of an ABC if you want to. You could squeeze it in there. C, A, B, C, boom. Today that's possible. So I would work with these two counts. Um, if you want more confidence, what would what could you do? Well, first of all, none of this, as usual, is was or will be financial advice. Now you can look at volume, and we need to go on to CFDs or futures. What's an Nasdaq futures? Um, so the QQQ is easy. Yeah, okay, so the E mini. Okay, so in the futures market, uh, let's go on the daily. It's better. On the futures market, yeah, yesterday's session, as expected, it's pretty bearish. I don't know, it, 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 it doesn't look too bullish, to be fair. Yeah, it doesn't look really bullish. I'm going to say that. So, I think for now... I personally will remain with more downside. We'll see. The market might prove me wrong. So this upcoming um, days are going to be interesting to see how it's going to develop. Uh, but overall, we're now in, into danger territory. Uh, you, you know, we could start to move down. I think this is going to be it. Um, if you enjoyed the content and you want to see more, then I'll really appreciate and recommend you subscribe. If you enjoyed the video as well, then uh, if you leave a like, I'd highly appreciate it as well. And um, thanks. I'll see you in the next one.